Hi, Gary here from Mr G Shave, back for another Saturday head and face shave, but in fact this is not Saturday. Uh, this video will be going out on Christmas Eve, um, i.e. on Sunday, and I'm actually recording this video on the Friday before, uh, because I'm just too busy <laughs> to, to do, uh, uh, you know, doing producing a video like this takes me about four hours, so... Um, it's about an hour doing all the filming and then the rest is editing and processing and stuff like that. But forget all of that. It's Christmas Eve and I'm saying Merry Christmas to you all. I hope you've had a great year. Um, mine's been up and down, as you know, with my health, but um, it's it's one of those. I'm, I'm all good for Christmas, which is, you know, a bonus. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, what am I using? What am I using? Well, for those of you, you that have followed me for a while now, will probably know that I'm gonna use my Christmas pudding bowl as a shaving bowl. This is a steamed Christmas pudding bowl that I can't remember when it was probably, this is about, probably about eight years old, something like that. Um, and it was a backup Christmas pudding um, that um, we we used, I think we used it on New Year's Eve the one time and I thought that would make a great little shaving bowl. So just goes to show you don't have to spend any money apart from buy a Christmas pudding which is always enjoyable. <coughs> um, the brush today, there's only one brush I can really use today and, and that's my Francis de Bois um, shaving brush, FB brush. And I think the Etsy site is Turn de Bois. Um, if you want it, if you want the link, um, just set, you know put it in the message, and I'll I'll put it up. But he's not he doesn't do pine uh, brushes all the time, and this is a pine cone in the middle of here, um, which is brilliant, absolutely perfect for Christmas. Um, beautiful brush, and then um, the razor that I'm using is my favourite razor. Uh, and again, those of you that, that have been following me for a while um, will know what that razor is. It's the Edwin Jagger 316. Um, so, yeah, that is the razor I'm going to use today. Uh, and in there, I have got... Let me close the pack up again. Some Gillette Wilkinson Sword from India. Um, I think if you're searching for it on eBay, it's um, Gillette Wilkinson Sword Saloon Pack. Uh, and make sure they come from India, because apparently you can get these made in China as well. Don't get those. Get the ones made in India. Um, or at least, I, I've not tried the Chinese ones, but I have heard differing opinions. Um, so as long as they're made in India, that's, that's all good. And, and they're probably one of my favourite blades. Um, so, with that being said, that's the hardware. I'm going to get ready for the shave and I'll be right back. Right, I'm back. And I realised I didn't do something. Um, should have had something on. <laughs> so, I'll treat you to it now. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. I've used this a few times. My son broke it. <laughs> That's enough of that. <laughs> Here we go. Let's turn it off. Bit of fun. Got to use it, haven't you? Um, I can't wear it during the shave. It'll fall off and drop in the bowl. So, uh, yeah. Right, what am I doing now? I am going to be putting on my pre-shave. First, let's get some water on the subject. Oh, looking forward to this shave. I pr probably will have another shave on Sunday, but it won't be on camera. I've got um, too much to do. People to see, you know, the usual thing around Christmas. So, here we go. So, oh, I didn't actually say what I was using, so let's put that back in. Pre-shave 
is Perazzo Green, just because it's green, red and white, which are the colours of Christmas for me. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm using as a pre-shave. How's everybody been? I'm hoping that you've all done all your shopping, because <laughs> if you haven't, you've only got a day or two left to do it. Um, I've done all mine, mine's pretty much complete now. Well, it is, it's complete. I, I'm not buying anything else for anybody now. Um, bar humbug, you say. <laughs> no, I've just bought them all. Um, so yeah. Oh, fantastic. Right, let's get a move on. It's, it's now on Friday, it's coming up to six o'clock. In about an hour and a half's time, I've got to be out. So um, I've got to get a move on. So today's soap is Christmas Eve, Sterling Christmas Eve. Um, this is a soap that I will always use on Christmas Eve. Um, it's just my Christmas soap, so... Uh, there's no point in using anything else when you've got a soap like this one. So here we go, dome first. It's lathered up really well. This only gets one outing a year really, and that's on Christmas Eve. So you can imagine how often I've used it, not very. I think I might have used it as an off-camera shave when I got it. I don't know, I think I, I didn't, don't normally do that. If I get a new soap, I like to give first impressions first. Oh, oh that's fantastic. <clears throat> the smell is, it's just Christmas in a tub. Um, let's use my leaf on my dome. After all, it is the favourite's shave. Um, this is the best head shaver I know of. Um, I've recently read a comment by somebody saying, and it, I don't think it was on my um, channel, it was either on a forum or um, on somebody else's videos comments um, and they got one and basically they weren't getting on with it but they'd only used it once um, they got a there is a short learning curve it will probably take three or four shaves before you start really getting a great shave out of it some people can go straight in and do it. I, I remember my first shave with this and I cut myself quite badly. It's because I was applying too much pressure. You've just got to learn the level of pressure you've got to apply. Um, but yeah, this is by far the best head shaver in my opinion. I, I've not tried anything that's better. There are things that will give me great shaves and, and as close a shave, but not with the same level of ease of use um, as this. Just amazing. Oh, loving it. Right, onto the face. Edwin Jagger 316 with a Gillette Wilkinson sword blade in it on its first use. That's fantastic. Nice blade feel, smooth with this blade.
Beautiful. There's pine in this set. I mean, it's a good four or five out of ten in scent strength. It's filling the bathroom with that Christmas scent that you, you know, when you walk past a Christmas tree, to me, that's, it's brilliant. Um, that's what I'm getting. Um, let's go with it. I'm not sure whether I've done enough lather. That's the only problem with that Christmas pudding bowl is it's a bit small. <laughs> I'm used to using bigger bowls. Oh yeah. And I think this soap's got a bit of a chilling effect unless that's just the leftover of the pre-shave. I think that's probably what it is. I don't think there's any menthol in this. Handle of the brush is getting quite slippery. <clears throat> So let's go across the grain. So what are you all up to over the Christmas week? Any of you working? I hope not. But I know there are plenty of professions where you have to work, whether you're working in the medical trade or hotels, service sector, basically. Bus, bus drivers, you know, there's loads of people who have to work, security guards. <clears throat> I wish you all a very special Christmas and I thank you for being there when we need you, when we've forgotten our pint of milk in the shops. <laughs> um, yeah. It's one of those. But yeah, you're all much appreciated. Um, I have an affiliation with the ambulance service and so on. Um, you know, I wasn't a professional. I was, I was with St. John Ambulance. Um, but, you know, amazing people what they do and what they have to put up with as do, as the, all the hotel staff as well so <clears throat> right across the grain on this side is straight up <clears throat> and it's as you would expect on this side Perfect. <clears throat> right, let's go in for the third pass. Let's add some more water. really cold with, with the Perezzo green. Oh yeah. I hope you like the lights. <laughs> Very simple. I've got a big panel light up here. Well it's not big. It's probably small in comparison to what some photographers use um, but you can set it to do a fancy display so I just decided that was what I was going to use this year and besides that I couldn't find all the, all the Christmas lights that I used to use in my previous Christmas videos right so we're going against the grain now
Yeah, it's been a very busy week with hospital appointments and various stuff. Um, it's uh, been a challenging week. I honestly thought the amount, the amount of walking I've had to do, because you know what hospitals are like, they're big places. And with my back, I can't walk very far. Um, so it was a challenge. Uh, and the previous week I'd had hospital appointments as well, so <clears throat> everything's okay if you're wondering. It's, yeah, I mean, the scans showed deterioration of discs in my spine again, but they said there's nothing I can do to stop that. So just one of those. I accept it. You can't do anything about it, so accept it. <clears throat> right, against the grain. Fantastic. So I'm filming this on Friday. I'll probably edit it in my spare moments on Saturday, maybe Sunday. Sunday's probably going to be the easiest day, but I just want to relax on Sunday. I could have done a live, oh, not a live video, well I could do live videos, but it's not something I'm really into. Um, again, it's, I've got to connect to all sorts of stuff. I just, yeah, it's not for me. <clears throat> um, I might get round to doing one one day. Uh, it'll be five o'clock UK time if I'm gonna do it though, the time that my videos usually go up. Right, um, let's do the fourth, or pick up pass, the fourth pass. There's next to nothing left in that bowl. Just about enough to complete the BBS shave. And this will be a BBS shave, that's for certain. <clears throat> Fantastic. <sighs> Do enjoy this shave. And I'm looking forward to Christmas Day. I'm cooking the turkey again. Um, I put um, orange zest, salt, pepper, and a little bit of cinnamon into a whole block of butter. Get that to room temperature, mash, mash it all together, and then shove it underneath the skin of the bird. Um, and uh, I glaze it, all the veg and well, the veg that you can glaze. Uh, I put bacon bits in with the Brussels sprouts. I glaze the carrots with honey um, and a bit of cumin, uh, which really works well. Just a pinch into the carrots and glaze it in a pan. And, it, and the cumin really brings out the flavor of the carrot. Fantastic. Um, what else am I doing? Uh, we're, I'm, we're doing sausage meat stuffing. Um, some will go in the bird, some will be in balls, and we're doing chestnut stuffing as well. So it, we're having all the trimmings, uh, and we've got a Christmas pudding from Marks and Spencers. Got to give it a go, haven't you? Um, yeah, so that's going to be our Christmas day. 
and then later on in the evening probably around eight nine o'clock i'll probably have a turkey sandwich <laughs> turkey and cranberry i've made the cranberry sauce today with my mother um so yeah yeah um do as much as you can up front is what i say i'll pick the bird up tomorrow um all the meat everything i'll pick up tomorrow so that's another thing i'm doing tomorrow on the big list sunday not doing a huge amount but i just want to relax on sunday so go down the pub have a few beers at lunchtime come back i've got a homemade lasagna that i made a few what about maybe a month to six weeks ago that is just sitting in the freezer begging to be cooked so that's my plans um yeah so that's it i've just got to clean up and do the post shave bit i'll be back in a sec right i'm back all ready for the shave shave oh god post shave <laughs> post shave feel excellent really good really nice um cold rinse time i think just wet the face cloth down oh <clears throat> beautiful I'm just going to let that uh, I'm not going to wipe it all off let's use the alum next to no feedback beautiful slight tingle here and there but nothing That's perfect. Oops. <clears throat> right, let's uh, get that off. Really nice. <clears throat> Beautiful shave. <clears throat> Absolutely beautiful. Right. A frothy <laughs> Boots tea tree in Witch Hazel. That's the, the sound you heard something dropping was this. <clears throat> so let's throw some of that on. Beautiful. Oh. And then the after show today. I was talking about Marks and Spencer's earlier. There's nothing, I'm not sponsored. <laughs> um, and they don't make this anymore anyway. Um, this is Marks and Spencer's Wood Spice. Um, oh, get my glasses. I can't see what I'm doing original wood spice gentleman aftershave and that's it there but you won't find it in marks and spencers because they don't do it anymore which is a shame because this is a really nice aftershave it's a splash and it's really nice <laughs> that is fantastic oh. Oh, beautiful. And then the only Christmassy balm that I had was this one, <laughs> which is Sal & Co. Um, looks nice and shiny and sparkly, so that goes with Christmas. So I'm gonna put some of this on if it comes out. It is quite solid. It's not runny at all. It's thicker than toothpaste. Um, and it's not really an aftershave balm, it's a moisturiser. Oh. But your skin feels great after this. Oh. 
that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of today's Christmas Eve shave. Uh, I hope you all get what you had on Santa's list and, um, you know, you're all having a great Christmas day if you're watching it on Christmas Day. You should, what are you doing watching this on Christmas Day? You've got to be mad. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope you have a great Christmas and I hope to be back on the Saturday, either the Saturday or the Sunday next week for New Year's Eve. I may have to pre-record again, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, but it's more than likely I'll be, I, I may decide to do it on, on New Year's Eve. Um, I'm not going out because I'm the designated driver, so I've got to pick my son up and drive people around and drop them off. So I'm not going out on New Year's Eve. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'll probably do the shave on New Year's Eve. So I'll see you then. Bye now.